Unit 5, Lesson 4, Example number 7. Use a special right triangle to express the sine of 60 degrees as a fraction as a decimal to the nearest hundredth. We're starting off by drawing a right triangle. But this right triangle is a special right triangle. It's the 30, 60, 90 right triangle. It has one angle of 60 degrees and one angle of 30 degrees. The 30, 60, 90 degree right triangle has some special relationship between the length of its sides. Across from the 30 degree angle is our shortest side. We'll mark that X. The hypotenuse is two times that, and the side across from the 60 is the short side times square root of three. Now, because this question is asked for us to find the sine of 60 degrees, we need to write down that trigonometric ratio. The sine of 60 degrees equals Wait, what are the sides of the right triangle for sine? Let's use Sokotoa to help us remember. Sokotoa, that first syllable is sine, opposite over hypotenuse. Wonderful. Let me figure out which side is which. To do that, I need to know which is my reference angle. That's the 60 degree that I've been asked about. Across from the 60 is the opposite. Across the 90 is hypotenuse. That leaves the other side being the adjacent. I'm only interested in sines two sides, which is opposite and hypotenuse. So square, x times square root of three over two x. There's so many variables. I can simplify this though. The x in the numerator is gonna cancel with the x in the denominator, leaving me with the sine of 60 equals the square root of three over two. The directions also want me to write this as a decimal to the nearest hundredth, so it's time to grab my calculator. I'm gonna put in the square root of three, and then hit the divide button, and then hit two. My calculator spits out 0 0.866. Well, I don't need to go any further, because this is to the nearest hundredth. So looking at that hundredths place, and the number right after tells me I should round up. So my final answer is 0 0.87. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in class.